Hi. Day 37. So all these semipavir hepatitis C treatment. And, well, today was day 37. I had a blood test last Friday on the 25th of April. And today I went for, for the follow-up appointment. And today's May 1st. Um, I have a mixed bag of news. It wasn't as clear as a yes or undetectable or no stop treatment. Um, I'm going to continue treatment. Progress was made, positive progress. Um, I'm going to go ahead and go into the whole story right now. Um, before treatment, I had a viral count of 16 million. That was before treatment. Um, week two, I was at 300 total in the whole body. And last week's, um, week four, I had a total of 80 in my whole body. Um, the, my, the doctor explained it to me that the way they do it is they uh, take a blood sample, then they put it on a slide, and then they uh, do some mathematical calculations. So they go ahead and look at how many viruses you have on that one slide and do some math calculation and extrapolate how much you have in your whole body. So apparently week four I had 80. Uh, the doctor said he was somewhat um, disappointed or didn't like that and initially he said he wouldn't tell me to stop already but he said he um, he called uh, another colleague, uh, another expert at another, well, some sort of university or college and he said that this was normal what I'm going through and that it's just to keep going and that he's pretty, he was pretty sure that it was clear um, he also told me that they take, did some liver enzyme test and he said it looks my liver enzymes look normal now uh, he actually said that if he did not know that I had cirrhosis he would think I have a good I had a good liver so it wasn't exactly what I was expecting I was expecting either undetectable or stop it because it's not working. I didn't think there was a third option. <laughs> that really got me through a spin. Um, so again, before treatment, 16 million total. Um, two weeks into the treatment, it was 300. Week four, now it's 80. Doctor again said, um, just to keep going, that this is normal. Apparently, they're just gathering more and more data on this because this treatment is so brand new. Um, I guess just keep going. I was hoping for uh, undetectable at this point, but um, 80 is pretty low. But I just gotta keep going. Um, as far as my mental state of being, man, this whole week has been uh, one big. I guess I've been holding my breath, been very worried and very anxious. And waiting for the doctor to come in, I was very, very nervous. And well, this is not exactly the best news in the world, but it's not bad news. So it's for sure it's not bad news, but it's not exactly the best news in the world either. Um, but it's good news. Um, so 80. That's what I had last week. <clears throat> Maybe I have less this week. But um, I'm going to go in for another blood test at week 8. And doctor said that maybe by then it will be um, even lower. And then maybe even might be, might be undetectable. But he said that there's a high, very high possibility that I will get cured. Or that have the virus cleared for me. Um, yeah, I, I was really hoping for undetectable. I already was, but um, I guess I have to settle for 80. I mean, I guess if you look at it, 80 is way better than 16 million, and having screwed up liver enzymes before and now they're normal, that's okay. I guess I have some victories. Um, this virus is very nasty and does not want to go away. I feel like yelling at it and going, "Go away! I don't want you." But it's not a sentient being, is it? I still have a lot of processing of this information to do.
Well, thank you for listening, and tomorrow's another day, and just gotta keep on trekking. This dragon is dragging its feet to die, but by golly, we're gonna stab it and kill it. Thank you for listening, and have a good one.